Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Shenanigan Plays Trails of Gold Steel 2. We are on our current um, stopover day, whatever you call it. Ah, that's the map I'm looking for. In Ymir, we have, as you can see, six bonding events. And yeah, we're going to go and do those after we do a couple other things first. Um, so the first thing you want to do when you're at this part of the game is go to the general store. There's a few things you can do here. First off, um, you can get a hidden quest from Camilla here. Oh, look who it is. You've come at the perfect time. I have. I can't say those words fill me with anything other than dread. Hmm? Why would that be? I never cause anyone any trouble. Um, yeah. Uh, of course you don't. Well, anyway, as I was saying, now that we've got so many students here, I was thinking of treating them to this village's specialty to welcome them. We have a specialty? Of course we do! We have the Manju, the eastern confectionery that Mr. Kafai brought here. I may have been the one who decided it's the village specialty, but the decision's been made, and it is final. Right. Anyway, so that's what you're going to make. That's right. There's just one teeny tiny problem. I'm missing one very important ingredient to make them, and I can't seem to get my hands on it. Which one? Azuke beans! You would be able to get your hands on some for me, would you, Reen? Mm, well, I can see why you might have trouble getting them. They're not exactly well known here in the Empire. This might actually be pretty difficult, but I guess it couldn't hurt to try. What should I do? Offer to search, of course. Well, admittedly, I'd like everyone to try some manju, too. Alright, I'll give it a shot. As uncommon and Erebonia as they are, people do use them from time to time here. So someone somewhere's bound to have some left over. I suppose the best place to start would be with people who do a lot of cooking. Yay! Well, good luck with your search. Quest Azuki Adventure started. Uh, now, we talk to her again in shop. Um... There is a new recipe you can get um, if you don't already have it. You can also get Imperial Chronicle issue number three. And we will read that in a minute. Um, so then we want to go to the house right next to the uh, inn right there, pub, whatever. I think it's this one. And talk to, I believe, her. I went to Plover the other day to buy a book, but I ended up buying the wrong one. Silly me. It worked out in the end, mostly because this book is actually quite interesting. I think I might get the next volume, even. You should try reading it yourself. I think you'll become a fan, too. Gambler Jack 2 Chapter 5 has been received. <laughs> Thanks. I'll read it if I get the chance. And then... Uh, there's a new difficulty added to the snowboarding course. So we'll do that real quick. You can now play the A2 course. A level 2. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love the snowboard course. I wish it's, uh, I wish they would have kept it. Whoops. But this is the only game, to my knowledge, that has the snowboarding. Huh. Kind of sad, but, you know. Ah! Almost missed one. Such a good little mini game, you know. Oh. Four. Yes, twenty five, and we beat our best time again. Heck yeah. Did it! Clear! New record! Uh, finish! Cleared the A2 course. <laughs> That's my boy. Wouldn't feel right if a son of Ymir couldn't handle that course. Well, here's your prize. Go ahead, take it. Received hair courts. And I'll be sure to keep the courses well maintained. If you feel like boarding again, just come on by. I certainly will. See you then. I would have loved to see, like, more courses throughout more games. Um, 
but oh well. Anyway, um, we'll go speak to Claire, who is over here, I want to say. Uh, it'll update her profile. Yeah, she's right here. <laughs> nice to see that Milliam hasn't lost any of her spark. Even though we really had our work cut out for us back in Nord, I'm glad we managed to resolve the trouble there. Speaking of Nord, I should probably ask, do you know anything about that Altina girl? Like, why she and Milliam both have rude puppets in the same last name? I do. Unfortunately, all my information is property of the Intelligence Division, and as such, my lips are sealed. But to be blunt, telling you would only serve to confuse you, and we can't afford to have your mind anywhere else right now. Fair point. Ooh, what are you guys whispering about? <laughs> Wait, I see what's going on here. Hushed whispers, staying close, working together. You two are dating, aren't you? Excuse me? That's your definition of dating? Putting Milliam's questionable observational skills aside, I'm glad we have Sharon on our team. She'll prove a useful asset in protecting this town from outside threats, too. Which means we're safe for now. You should rest up while you can, Reed. I shall. Right. And then... Bonding events. Alright, so it is time to get into our third issue of the Imperial Chronicle. Breaking! The Pantagruel tours the nation. The Noble Alliance's flagship, the Pantagruel, will be reportedly will reportedly be making a tour of the nation in order to help quell the fear that has been building across the Empire during these fragile times. I can't help but feel fortunate that citizens all across Erebonia will be given the chance to bear witness to its majesty, as well as how, even in the midst of war, the Noble Alliance has taken the time to care for the well-being of those caught up in it. A step towards ending the war? It's possible that the Pantagruel's tour may play a vital part in bringing the war to a conclusion. The Noble Alliance has been in a hurry to end it, making it a distinct possibility that this latest development may have another purpose beyond finally giving our fellow Erebonian countrymen <sighs> to, ah man, I can't do it, reason to celebrate. That is a very long sentence. One noble from the La Mer province certainly thinks so, telling us such a tour is sure to raise morale among the Alliance's troops. I wouldn't be at all surprised if it resulted in accelerated victories across the country. Will the Imperial family be on board? A small number of reports have been suggesting that in addition to the Noble Alliance Supreme Commander Duke Kayan and Chief of Staff Lu Ru Lord Rufus Alberea, members of the Imperial family will be on board the flagship during the tour as well. All evidence has pointed towards them resting privately until now but this may prove to be an opportunity for them to speak to and calm the men and women of the nation. Having only recently been the victims of the rebellion by their subjects, we of the Imperial Chronicle wouldn't blame the Imperial family for being disappointed in the rebels. But perhaps they may even use this chance to demonstrate their boundless love for their people and call upon the rebels to surrender. Society, the nation's economy stabilizing, the nation's economy has been in chaos for some time due to goods being unable to move freely around the country, but the Ministry of Finance has announced a gradual improvement to the situation as more regions come under the Noble Alliance's wing. They could not, however, rule out the possibility of additional wartime taxes, leading to cries of despair from certain parts of the citizenry. Breaking another battle in the West, Western Erebonia has been a hotbed for conflict since the beginning of the war, but the Noble Alliance forces have warned that the coast of La Mer province is likely to soon become the center of yet another large-scale battle. Upon reaching out for comment, a spokesperson for the Alliance forces said, Several rebel forces have joined together and seem to be planning to launch an attack against us. We intend to dispatch them with all of our military strength. We strongly recommend that residents in those areas evacuate as soon as possible. Incident. A strange knight appears in the east. We have received reports that the Kreutzen Provincial Army clashed against a mysterious large weapon resembling the Alliance's own Azure Knight. The Alliance believes it to be an inferior imitation of the Azure Knight and is increasing security while trying to pinpoint its current whereabouts. And that's the end. So... Man, um, right. So, the stuff we'll see happening in the West, um, 
so in the areas that we aren't actively doing anything um rumor is and this was about the same time that there were rumors about the northern war anime but the rumor is that they are planning another anime in addition to northern war that will cover the what happens in the other parts of Erebonia during the same time that these games take place. That's not confirmed or anything, but it definitely would be a cool thing to see. Anyway, continuing on, we shall go straight into the, um, uh, bonding events. Yeah, that's what they're called. Um, one more note, there is a new creature out on the, um, in the valley that you can battle scope if you want to get that trophy otherwise i already have it so we're not going to worry about it anyway let us do clockwise this time start with gaius and end with um charon uh gaius is right here white i keep man r's and w's are hard i've only been away from the empire for a month so i'm kind of surprised by how much i missed it what a great town to come back to. This village holds a lot of memories for Class 7. I can certainly say that. I'm happy you feel that way. Given that the people here are being gracious enough to host us yet again, I'd like to give them something in return. We just haven't decided exactly what yet. Should I help them out? It's not like I don't owe everyone a lot here. Yes, let's help them out. Why don't we help clear up some of this snow then? It hasn't been coming down that hard, but it never hurts to have a clean walkway. It's good exercise, too. <laughs> no complaints here. Let's borrow some shovels and get to work. Rini and Gaius headed over to the mansion storehouse to borrow a couple of shovels. And, once they were adequately equipped, they started clearing snow off some of the village's more popular pathways. We finished that in record time. Thanks for all the help. Although it is still snowing, so I'm sure it'll build up again before long. <laughs> Still, I was good exercise, so it wasn't all for nothing. All that work warmed me up a bit, too. <laughs> I wish I could say the same about my fingers and toes. I'm surprised they're not freezing with how lightly you're dressed, though. Well, it's chilly all year round in the highlands. We don't get snow like you find here, but I'm used to dealing with the cold. Oh, really? Well, if you say so. I mean, I'm fairly used to the cold weather, too, but I don't think living here all my life's ever stopped me from feeling the cold. Anyway, you all right with stopping by the footpath to warm up a bit? Doesn't sound like a bad idea. Ah, this really is relaxing. It's a pleasure to be able to use the springs here again after our last visit. I think there are a few on the outskirts of the highlands, but it's never been our custom to soak in them like this. Well, every country's different, I guess. There really is a lot to love about Erebonia. I still hope to bring my whole family here once everything's calmed down. Really? Toma, Lily, and Sheeta really did seem sad to see you go. You must be worried about them. Yeah. Nord's no longer in any immediate danger, but it's still difficult to rest easy with the war going on. The sooner everyone can return to living in peace, the better. Yeah. And when that happens, I want to show them more of this great country. Not tanks, not soldats, but the things that made me come to Erebonia as a second home to begin with. Come to see Erebonia as a second home, yeah. Like the snow and the hot springs here, and this place is just one of many stunning places to see, each one rich with tradition. <laughs> I really hope you can. I still don't know how much we can do, but we'll put our best foot forward so we can make that a reality. We know how much your family means to you guys, and I hope we can help you reunite with them. Thanks, that means a lot. Your bond with guys has strengthened. We're already maxed out, so I mean, we can't do any better than that, but... Next is Machias in the tavern. Two bonding events with Machias in a row, wow, nice. Toval recommended I try the toffee here, and now I can see exactly why. The beans themselves are fairly standard, but the roasting method they're using has given them a wonderful aroma. <laughs> Coffee this good pairs perfectly with all these chess game transcriptions I've been reading. Wait, you're reading up on games other people played? You must really love your chess. You could say that. 
I'd like to think I've gotten better ever since joining the lower class chess club too. But I haven't played in a long time. Reading records like this may be fun, but it's no match for the real thing. You know, I could play against him. Yeah, it sounds fun. I'm pretty sure there's a chess set over in the Phoenix Wings, Machias. It might not be up to club standards, but it should see us through a match or two if you're interested. Oh, I'm interested. But only if you expect me to come at you with everything I've got way ahead of you. Green and Machias enthusiastically ran off to the Phoenix Wings to grab their chess set. Then they sat down for the game with coffee in hand. Well, this is going to just swell. I figured you'd be rusty enough for me to maybe stand a chance at winning, but no, you're as sharp as ever. <laughs> I wish I wasn't part of the chess or I wasn't part of the chess club for nothing. You're doing a good job at holding your own though, so don't feel too bad. You're reminding me of how tenacious a player Stefan was. He was the captain of the lower class chess club, wasn't he? I wonder what he's up to right now. I wish I knew. He's a hot-blooded guy, though. I can't picture him sitting around idly. I wonder what the students from the upper-class chess club are doing, too. You're worried about them, aren't you? I know you were competing against them initially, but it looked like you guys were putting your differences behind you. We were. At the end of the day, this war was started by the Noble Alliance, not by nobles as a whole. For every noble who's in favor of it, there's another who's as much of a victim of it as commoners are. <laughs> You've changed. Back when we first met, all it took was someone whispering the word noble to set you off on a ramp. Well, I'd like to believe I've been able to mature a little since enrolling at the academy. Either way, with my father being one of the many victims of this war after his arrest, I can only hope we can do something to better the situation for everyone. Yeah, same here. But I'm sure we'll be fine. No matter how desperate things seem, if you keep searching for ways to turn things around, you'll find one. That's true for the Civil War as much as it is for this game of chess. Tying it to chess now, are you? Well, I do see what you mean. All we can do is keep looking for that one move that will change everything. Exclamation! Crap, why do you move that piece there? <laughs> Talk about perfect timing. That there is my one move that changed the game. I might be able to win against you after all, huh? Yeah, we'll see about that. I'm only just getting started. Their game continued, with Machias determined to win. And while he did secure his victory, it was a challenging game throughout. And it was safe to say both he and Reen thoroughly enjoyed themselves in the process. Your bond with Machias has strengthened. Almost a level up. Not quite. And, whoa. Uh, there we go. That's the, that's the exit. And next is Toval over by the station. Right about where Claire was last time. Sharon was kind enough to give us the official Ouroboros seal of approval on Ymir's defenses yesterday. It might be number one on the guild's list of enemies, but everything I've seen out of her is worthy of our trust. Still, the more time passes, the grimmer the situation here in Erebonia in the Empire gets. Maybe it's time for me to square things up with the goddess, just in case. A little prayer couldn't hurt me right now. Maybe I should join him. If you're heading off to pray, I'd be happy to join you. That's the plan. Nice to have some company. There's something I wanted to talk to you about anyway, so I guess the goddess is smiling on me already. What would that be? Get us to become a bracer? I'm kind of surprised you wanted to come and pray all of a sudden. You never really struck me as much of a religious man. <laughs> well, it's because I'm not really. I only really come to church to pray before the big jobs. What brought you here today then? You even need to ask? I wanted to pray for you kids' futures, as well as the future of all of us in the Bracer Guild. Both to Idios and my other goddess. Whoa, whoa, who's this other goddess? <laughs> kind of an embarrassing question to answer, to tell you the truth. But she's the woman who set me on the road to becoming a bracer. What was her name? Um, it's in that book. 
the the um the church lady that he comes across. I can't remember her name, darn it. Oh. It all started back in the day when I was still working for old Mict. I ended up getting caught in some trouble involving an artifact, you see, and she's the one who helped me get through it all. If you don't mind me asking, what kind of trouble? Let's just say that's one experience I'll be happy to never relive. I was pretty skilled with arts even back then, but if she hadn't come when she did, I'd have been a goner. She's a tad on the violent side, though, and the kind of person who could take out a whole Jaeger Corps with her bare hand. I think a tad might be putting it lightly. Still, that was how we met, and she saw the potential I had when it came to arts. Thanks to her, I ended up finding my true calling. I threw away all the aliases as I'd be all the aliases I'd been using up until that point, and just became Toval Rondanur, the bracer. And that's how I'm gonna stay. Dots. Anyway, I guess what I'm trying to say is people at the end of the day are the sum of their experiences. There's obviously a lot you don't know about your past, but that's not what defines who you are. What does define you are the choices that you make, the paths you choose. That's what I think, at least. Tovo. Well, anyway, you've still got more of your classmates to find. And even then, you've still got plenty of time to find exactly what it is you want to do with your life. But if you ever need any advice, you can always come talk to me. Thanks, Tovo. I still have no idea what I want to do after all of us meet up or after this war's over. But hopefully by the end of it, I'll have a better idea. <laughs> there we go. Their conversation finished, Reen and Toval offered up silent prayers to the goddess and swore once again to survive the trials of war and come out the other side. Your bond with Toval has strengthened. Still not maxed out. Right, next is Elisa in the uh, shop. Pullovers. I didn't. Oh, she's over there. Wow, I didn't even see her. Sharon wants to do some cooking later, so I'm here to stock up on ingredients. She's asked for stuff that'll be nice and nutritious for your dad, too. Thank you so much for doing this. You must be exhausted after that time you spent in Nord, too. So try to get some rest if you can. <laughs> Thanks, maybe I will. You know, the foot bath I passed on the way here might be a great way to do that. I haven't used it since our trip, so maybe I could do with a little dip. God, it rhymed. I'm tempted to join her. That does sound good. Can I come with? The more the merrier. Let me just finish up my shopping and we can head over. After Reen helped Elisa carry her purchases back home, the two of them made their way over to the foot bath. Ah, you can feel the warmth coursing through your whole body. <laughs> it feels like all my exhaustions just melted away. <laughs> yeah, the footbath's nice all year round, but it's really something special during the winter. The last time we were here, it was still early fall, so I imagine you can feel the difference too. I can, actually. I think it was winter when I came here with my family as a little girl, too. Oh yeah, you mentioned that last time we were here that you'd been once with your family. Do you remember how long ago? Well, my father was still alive, so it was around nine years ago, I suppose. It was grandfather's idea to bring us all here. This was back before Sharon joined our family, too. That sounds exactly like something he'd suggest. <laughs> hmm, if it was nine years ago, that'd make it a few years or so after my dad adopted me. Oh? How funny would it have been if we actually bumped into each other back when we were kids? We couldn't stay for long since everyone was really busy with work at the time, but I'll treasure the memory forever. The whole family together laughing and smiling, mother and father at my side. Dots. It's amazing how much can change in nine years. Everything is completely different now, both at the home end and Erebonia as a whole. I just hope mother is alright, wherever she is now. Give me a minute. Wish to bark. A minute for what? A minute for a minute. What's this? It's called a happiness hair. They're seen as a kind of good luck charm around here. Normally, you'd put a bit more effort into making one and use different materials, but this'll do for now. Aw, it's a sweet little thing, isn't it? <laughs> I know, right? 
When we were kids, Elise used to always make one for me whenever she thought I was down. Oh. Sorry, you must be as worried about her as I am about Mother. I'm sure she's just fine. That's what I'm choosing to believe. So just try to believe that your mom's fine, too. I'm sure that you'll be reunited with her before long. Just don't give up hope. <laughs> yeah, I won't. Come on, don't cry. Here, this'll cheer you up. Don't worry, you... Exclamation! Wait, was that... Was that a memory from when I came here as a little girl? Elisa? Sorry, I guess it's a little childish to think of something like this would cheer you up. Oh no, that's not it at all. Thanks for the encouragement, and lean. I won't give up. And I'll keep believing that we'll both be reunited with our families before long. <laughs> that's what I like to hear. After that, they soaked their feet in the foot bath for a while longer and enjoyed some pleasant conversation. When they got out, Reen bade farewell to Elisa, who chose to return to the general store. Your bond with Elisa is strengthened. Oh, we're already maxed out with her, so you, yeah. Next up is Milliam. Milliam, yes. This spot's got the best view of the whole town you can get. Now, where am I going to play today? Someone mentioned a spot where you can snowboard around here. That sounds like it'd be kind of fun. Nice to see she's making herself at home. If she's interested in snowboarding, she might need some help to get started. Maybe I should go with her. Yes. Snowboarding, huh? Want me to go with you? I hate to assume, but I'm guessing you're never, you've never gone before. I grew up around snow, so I can show you the ropes if you want. You mean it? That'd be awesome. But I'd say, but I did say I'd lend Claire a hand today. Go have fun. You can help me out later. <laughs> Boom! Schedule cleared. Let's go carve some powder. That's what you say, right? Uh, I've never heard that before, but I also was not a huge snowboarder, so who knows? Wow, this course is super nice looking. Yep, all the younger guys in the village helped make it. It goes for me too, of course. It was a while before enrolling at the academy. Really? Neat. Alright, time to have some fun. But you've never used a snowboard, right? You should probably just start by learning the basics instead of trying to have a race right off the bat. <laughs> nah, why go through all the boring stuff when I've got Lammy? What kind of trouble are you conjuring up this time? Lammy? I'll race on Lammy. You race on your snowboard and we'll see who claims victory. You can't be serious. There's not much point in racing on a snowboarding course if you're just going to fly over everything. <laughs> but it'll be fun. And fun's all that matters. So let's go, go, go. Oh, million. And we have to actually race her. At least we don't have to pick up flags. We've got to beat her. Ah, yes. Getting there. Must win. Going to beat our record again. Heck yeah. Nice. Wow, nicely done, it says. And victory is mine. Huh, look at you, Reen. I can't believe you beat Lammy. Well, I'm pretty used to snowboarding, and this is the beginning course. Aragetlam sure is fast, though. Racing against him reminded me of when we were chasing you two all across the highlands. <laughs> Guess he did, huh? Lemmy can do way more than this, though. Probably the only one who could really take him down would be that one girl in Sammy. Actually, now that you brought that up, you wouldn't happen to know anything about her, would you? I mean, you've got the same surname. That can't be a coincidence. Beats me. All I can tell you is that was definitely the first time we've ever met. Maybe she's a friend of a friend or something? That doesn't explain the surname. No, I really don't know much about Milliam. 
We might be classmates, but she doesn't talk much about her background. Maybe she's just not ready? Eh, who cares about who she is anyway? Friend, foe, or distant relative? She kidnapped Elise and the princess, right? Well, yeah, but... You're gonna save them, Reen. If fighting her is what it takes to make it happen, then that's what you're gonna do. And I'm gonna help, because that's what classmates are for, right? Heh, <laughs> right you are. Thanks, Milliam. We still don't have any clues as to where the two of them actually are, but I'll be counting on you to help us find out, and to rescue them when that time comes. You betcha! They stayed out for a while longer to enjoy the wintry scenery together, and they headed back to Ymir. Your bond with Milliam has strengthened. Getting close to maxing out her bonding too. And then... Last but not least, we have uh, Sharon, who's in, yes, in here. Why are you doing the cooking, Sharon? I thought it might be the best way to make myself useful. Lady Schwarzer and I have been plotting out all sorts of culinary concepts that could aid with your father's recovery. She looks shockingly comfortable in our kitchen. I never gave it much thought before, but seeing an Ouroboros enforcer standing in my house is kind of weird. Is something the matter, Master Reen? Could I make you a favorite dish or something of the sort? Lady Elisa is out shopping for ingredients at the moment, so it's not too late to put in any special requests. I would gladly leave deciding the dinner menu to the two of you. You'd be just like a married couple. Whatever you want to make will be just fine. <laughs> I don't know why I'm wasting my time worrying about her past. She's still our Sharon, no matter who she worked for. Well, I've got it on my mind, though. Maybe I should take the time to ask her a bit about Ouroboros. Seems like a prudent idea. So this is kind of out of the blue, but would you mind telling me a bit about Ouroboros, if you can anyway? I feel like I should learn as much about them as possible since we're almost definitely going to face off again. Goodness. Hmm, would you be willing to accompany me onto the mountain path again? Huh? I mean, sure, but why? <laughs> You'll see when we get there. Though if you need some time to get ready, I can wait. Oh, a dead end? What exactly did you bring me here for, Sharon? Is there something here that I'm not seeing? Hehe, <laughs> this should be far enough from the village. We wouldn't want to cause any trouble for anyone, hmm? What are you doing? Please, draw your blade, Master Reen. Allow me to take this opportunity to give you a little due practice. P practice? Where did this come from? I'm sure you don't need me to inform you of this, but Ouroboros has chosen to support the Noble Alliance in their endeavors. The agents assisting them are incredibly powerful and skilled, much like the Phantom Thief. They're all that powerful. Should you choose to define the way you and your classmates find fight as good, then the society of Ouroboros is nothing short of evil. Trying to fight evil such as that head-on is pure folly. But I, too, am part of the society. Perhaps by fighting me, we can discover something that will help you stand up to them. And I think that will be far more useful to you than simply learning information about the group that may serve no purpose. I see. Alright then, I accept your challenge. No holding back, Masterine. I need to see what you're truly capable of. Their impromptu training session then quickly began. Sharon showed no mercy subjecting Reen to the full might of her many skills, and he struggled valiantly to find an opening to mount a counterattack, barely enduring their onslaught. But enduring nonetheless. Oh, panting. Tee <laughs> that was wonderful. It takes some impressive skill to be able to catch one of my steel wires in such a short period of time. <laughs> I was only able to catch the one, though. If this had been a real combat situation and you're fighting to kill, I would have been torn to shreds long before that. Oh, that may well be true. Still, you determinedly... De determinedly... Yeah! Tried to find ways to turn overwhelming odds in your favor, never once giving up. Seeing that was enough to make me believe this practice session was not in vain. Do you mind if I ask you a question, Sharon? Why do you do so much to help us when you're supposedly still with Ouroboros? 
It seems strange to be trained on how to fight against their members by someone who's part of the group. The enforcers of Ouroboros are granted a certain degree of freedom in what we do. I simply exercise that freedom to choose serving yourselves and the Ranford family over Ouroboros. Though the fact that I am a member of the society does not change, of course. That clears up approximately nothing for me. At the very least, I can assure I can assure you that you have nothing to worry about. Until this war reaches a conclusion, I'll fight alongside you and your classmates. That I promise. My lord and my devotion, my love and my devotion are with not only Lady Elisa, but with each and every one of you. I swear to the goddess I will protect and fight for you with all that I am. Thank you. We'll be counting on you, Sharon. Always. <laughs> Nothing would make me happier. Their conversation over, Sharon gave Reen first aid for the injuries he had sustained during the battle, and together they happily returned to Ymir. Your bond with Sharon has strengthened. Level up! Reen and Sharon reached the link level 5. Right, so now that we have those out of the way, I think we're going to go ahead and end this one right here. We will pick up next time with our hidden quest. And then that should end up this chapter and we can move on to the next. So until then, I will see you all then. Goodbye for now.